Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you've been doing well today. So welcome back to the channel. I'm going to take you through the Hacktobox Academy and specifically the pen tester, the, the skill path basically. So what Hacktobox has is these skill paths. As you can see, I'm currently enrolled in a path. You have skill paths and you have a job role path. Now, in the job role paths, you have this pen testing job role path. And in here, you can basically do a lot of modules. You can uh, you can try to complete everything, get all of the questions right, and then you can get a exam voucher if you'd like. The exact prices might vary, so I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. But at the moment, I believe it was $210 for a for the path and two hundred dollars for the exam or the other way around but don't quote me on that please uh, i just would like to answer the question is this worth it i'm not gonna answer it for you i am gonna show you what it's like and then you can answer it yourself big disclaimer i haven't done the exam yet i've only gone through the path partially and i'll show you guys why that is as well now, first of all, what I really like is that they focus heavily on the penetration testing process. So they explain through this complete module basically everything about the test from the process leading up to it, towards the test itself, towards everything winding down. And these guys teach it exactly the way as I would teach it. Why is that? Because we both base our teachings on PTES. I also include OSSTMM in there. Uh, for that RAV calculator, I like it because it, it does give a certain level of coverage. I also include NIST in there, but again, you don't want to overwhelm your students, so great job on creating this module. Next, we go into getting started. This is just a little bit of an overview, your basic tools, your enumeration, etc. So just to get you warmed up a little bit, that's it. Now that's already a pretty hefty one don't get me wrong it's not super super heavy so i'll take you through one of these paths for a little bit as well because i'd like you guys to see what it's like so let's say that i am on this path of finding public exploits as you can see they give you a pretty comprehensive overview of all of the possibilities out there now in here I also have my own exam machine that I can run for 120 hours or I can just connect to the VPN, of course. Once I do that, I can spin up target machines. At the end of some chapters, you guys will see that you can have some questions. And sometimes I understand that it's a little bit iffy because sometimes you get two options and you basically enter the first one you're not right, it tells you you're wrong, you enter the second one and you can continue. So it, you're, the thing is, if you do that, uh, you're kind of just fucking yourself over. If you don't learn from that mistake, that is. Because the exam, it might get asked anyway. You might need that specific thing. And if you don't know it, that's a shame for you. Uh, so the system itself is Parrot OS. Love it. I don't... I'm prefer Parrot over Kali, I don't know why. Uh, let the rage wars uh, go through in the comments about Kali versus Pirate. Parrot, <laughs> Parrot. <laughs> anyway, you also get this handy dandy cheat sheet and you can directly go to the questions if you would like. Really, really awesome because it's very practical. Now, what I don't like about it, and that's what I'll show you as well, if I go back to my modules and I look at the cross-site scripting module specifically, for example, like you, you'd think that I would know at least what to do here a little bit. Like, let, let's go through it. So they have here stored cross-site scripting, for example, testing payload. So they give you a script payload here. Uh, they give you some more code here. And then they say, to get the flag, use the same payload as we used above, but change it to JavaScript code to show the cookie instead of showing the URL. So what I've been doing uh, is doing this. Document dot cookie. Wrong. 
copying other things wrong alert document.cookie wrong even looked at the hint document.freakingcookie now i think i know what it is no not not even that not even document i don't know what it is like what the hell do they expect of me tell me tell me oh my god but like that that's gonna be a little bit of a frustration for me um and and i i'm sure for many other people but it comes with these types of questions the thing is it really forces you to learn though and sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating but it really is one of the best ways to set up a learning strategy like this at least for me so i'm gonna continue on this path i hope that i can at least get these questions right because it irks the heck out of me i don't know what to do i don't know what to put in there uh, <laughs> i i feel ashamed almost but anyway <coughs> i have my exam voucher i'm going to complete my path i'm going to take my exam oh i also have the certified bug bounty hunter uh exam voucher apparently so it looks like I have another one that I need to take and review. I would like to really thank Hectabox and I should have probably brought this up at the start, but Hectabox gave me this silver annual, of course. Um, that is something that I really need to disclose. That being said, it really didn't influence my opinion about this website. I showed you guys what I didn't like about it. I showed you guys what I like about it. And I hope that you guys are able to make up your mind. If we go back real quick to the syllabus, you can see that part is offensive, part is defensive, and part is general from their paths. Now, you can see uh, the medium, easy things in here. Everything here is either medium or easy, so it shouldn't be super hard. Of course, Windows privilege escalation, documentation, really mwah, beautiful. Attacking enterprise networks, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff in here. Uh, like, I, I can't be happier, honestly. AD is put in here. This is OSCP and more. The only thing that OSCP has still right now is brand recognition. Because if you get OSCP, you're more likely to get a job currently. I don't know if that's going to change in the future. I would bet that it is. Because if I look at this certificate, OFSEC have some catching up to do. The thing is... Of course, public brand recognition is super, super important in these things. So, what do you think? Do you prefer this? Do you prefer offsex certificates? Do you prefer PNPT? Do you maybe even prefer my certificate, CNWPP? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers!